once synonymous with making India's safest locks. The Godrej brand is now diversified into areas as varied as retail and real estate. The man responsible for this is Adi Godrej. The 70-year-old patriarch will pass the reins of the Godrej empire to his children in the near future. His youngest, Pirotra Godrej, is already the CEO of Godrej Properties at 31. The father-son duo talks about the future of the family businesses and how they see the future of India. What makes me extremely optimistic about India's future is its demography. Two things, I would say demography and democracy. I think both these will ensure India's future will be strong relative to other countries. And uh, what worries me is, can we leverage the demography, demography strongly? Training, skilling and education needs to be done extremely well. I think the excitement uh, in working in a business you created um, is probably more ultimately than, than can be provided in a, in a purely professional environment. Um, but again, it, it, you know, I don't think it's something where one size fits all. Clearly, everybody shouldn't be an entrepreneur. We'd have no uh, companies. Um, but um, I, I think it, it's something that you know a, a person is 21, as, as you described, should probably uh, spend some time working in something they're passionate about, which could be some uh, venture of their own or could be with someone else, and try to understand their own capabilities, their own interests. Um, and ultimately, it's more important to follow those. And I think there are opportunities often that could be uh, either with existing businesses or in a more entrepreneurial fashion. But really do something that, that you enjoy and that you think you're good at. I'm not, I'm not a very religious person um, at all. But certainly, I think, you know, I feel proud that the community has achieved all that it has. I think it, it certainly, uh, you know, created a culture of, of working, of success. And I think, you know, that, that's something... Uh, th that's great, and, and I do think all those small, you know, Parsis will will continue to do well and continue to survive. Uh, but I, I wouldn't say to me that it's a very important uh, part of my identity. I probably feel uh, think of myself as a Parsi more than my children. Mm -hmm. First of all, they are only half Parsi. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, aside from that, I, I, my identity is much more national than either religious or communal. So, for example, I don't uh, think of myself as much as being from Maharashtra state. Mm. I do, but not very much. I don't think of myself being a Mumbaikar very much, but I, I do identify myself as an Indian very strongly. Mm. 